Before the break, we asked you how much salt water is in a salt water taffy. The answer, none. The name started out as a joke when an Atlantic City candy store was flooded by a storm in 1883, and it stopped. I'm Larry Menti. And I'm Dawn Stensler Menti. Thank you for being with us here on our special Atlantic City and New Day. There is a renewed effort in Atlantic City to attract more conventions to the city. And that effort paid off recently with the announcement that MPI, Meeting Professionals International, will hold its World Education Congress in Atlantic City next summer. The convention will be held at the brand new Harrah's Atlantic City Waterfront Conference Center and will attract more than 2,000 MPI conventioneers. This is the first time MPI has chosen Atlantic City for its World Conference and of course, the city's hoping that many more will be coming soon. A lot of young athletes and their families will be coming to Atlantic City soon. Specifically, Bader Field. The city's former airport is scheduled to become a state-of-the-art, multi-purpose sports complex. The proposal was recently approved by city council. There's going to be basketball, soccer, lacrosse, all tournament style stuff here that bring people to town and to use room nights, to use the hotels and things of that nature. You know, we're getting back to Atlantic City is a tourism town with a lot of family attractions that happens to have casinos also. So this would be just a huge national sports complex? That's the plan and uh, I'm very excited and I think it's going to be very successful with the It is estimated that as many as 45,000 athletes could come to the city and train here every year. We would be remiss if we didn't mention the Revel Casino, which opened in 2012 with such great hope, only to close two years later. The casino was recently purchased by Florida billionaire real estate developer Glenn Strong. He's made some wonderful promises to reopen Revel and redevelop Atlantic City, but so far has only run into problems in getting his plans off the ground. Now there are rampant rumors that Revel will be sold again, so stay tuned. And soon this boardwalk will be home to one of the most impressive light and video shows in the world. Thousands already come every night in the summer to see the free 3D light show at Boardwalk Hall. It started last year and will continue through the summer. And soon, there will be several places along the boardwalk that will have an interactive light show on the ground for kids. Also, giant video screens now line the boardwalk about every 140 feet to let visitors know what's happening in Atlantic City. Finally, the city is going to line the boardwalk with bright LED lights on 150 new poles and install new security cameras to make the boardwalk much safer. Right, exactly, because you can have the best light show and the best attractions in the world, but no one's going to come if the city isn't safe. Not too long ago, this city had a high crime rate and a horrible reputation. But that's all changed because there's a new chief in town. I went on a ride through the city with Chief Henry White. You tell me what's the most important changes you've made since you've been in that helped bring the crime rate down. I tell you, um, the, the single most important change is gaining the trust of the community. Now they start to have faith in their police department that we are actually concerned about their well-being. So they're more trusting in us now, and now they are more willing to give us information to help them. There's a lot of problems across the country with policing, and it's erupted into violence. And I don't want to talk too much about that, but I want to talk about maybe Atlantic City is a model for those other cities. Well, I don't want to, you know, brag or say, you know, we're a model. I don't necessarily know what would work, say, in another town, but I know what's working here in Atlantic City. One of the things that is definitely working is our community engagement. You, it's no substitution for it. You can have a thousand police officers here. If they're not connecting with the community, you're not going to um, gain anything. And I think that that single-handedly has contributed to our reduction in crime because now folks are coming to us when and giving us information when they weren't before. The pushback on that is, well, many minorities don't want to become police officers because they absolutely have such right. a bad reputation. You're absolutely right. Among in that neighborhood. Yep. Are you, uh, do you face that here? Absolutely. Yes, we do. And we're trying to change that perception one child at a time. It's, it's mind-boggling 
why more inner city youth don't want to be police officers. It's a secure job. I mean, we're paid, you know, pretty well. It's just that negative connotation of police and, you know, the, the inner city communities. So we're trying to change that perception because we do our jobs better when the police force reflects the community that we serve. And maybe in the past you wouldn't get that, but I think now what we're building is, is understanding and, and teamwork that we've realized there's a lot more good people in, the, in Atlantic City than bad. So we're kind of working together, and with these children, you can tell that we're coming together with that. The chief, a humble man, gives his force all the credit for his success. He also points out that the city has a population of 39,000, but swells to 200,000, making his job that much tougher. Okay, let's get to my favorite thing to do here in Atlantic City, shop. And you won't believe the bargains at one of the best outlet malls in the tri-state area. That's next. But first, trivia time. How old is Lucy the Elephant in nearby Margate? The answer is next. 